Well, we want to welcome you to this new edition of Federal Braces installation videos. In this new installation video, we are going to be covering how to install one of our brand new brackets. Uh, this new bracket is developed off of a previous design that we had. So at Federal Brace, we really like to innovate. And, um, and about a year ago, we uh, created a, a, a bracket that used both artisan glass and stainless steel uh, on, uh, on the bracket. So this would be a countertop mount bracket that incorporated both glass and metal. Um, now what we've done is we're incorporating a new element into the same bracket by bringing in lighting. And so by, uh, by introducing lighting into the same bracket, uh, we create a whole new uh, look and feel to this bracket. We also uh, add in the additional ambiance of lighting underneath your, your countertop overhang or underneath your cabinets. And it's just an awesome, awesome uh, installation. So, if, uh, so we will put it together and take a look at it with you. So in this particular installation, we've actually pre-installed two of the brackets here. This particular demo here is uh, all set up and ready for the installation of, of these new brackets. This, uh, by the way, the bracket name is the Luminati. Uh, so our system, our lighted bracket system, comes with the adapter that plugs into that outlet. Now on our system here, we also put in a dimmer. So you can actually add a dimmer to the system and you can create the lighting effect that you would like to have, depending on your installation. What we've also done on this particular installation is put in a light switch on the exterior of the cabinet and this allows us to simply turn on and off the lighting for the brackets uh, without having to get inside the cabinets in order to do that. We have pre-installed two of the brackets and we have a third uh, Luminati bracket to install. Uh, I wanted to point out some considerations before we go into the actual installation. In our particular case here, uh, we have made sure that our brackets are mounted to a stud. You'll want to make sure that you have good substructure uh, that you're tying your brackets into to support your countertop and or shelves or anything else that you're actually mounting. In this installation, we, you can see the groove on the top which is going to be used to hold the, uh, hold the wire that hooks up the LED lighting. You can see over here, you can see the actual wire going through. And we've placed these tabs at the top of that groove in order to stabilize that wire and keep it, keep it in place. Also on the front here, you can see that we have pre-drilled our holes for the mounting of our bracket. We wanted to take extra care when, uh, when working with this, uh, with this fascia that we didn't have, um, that we didn't have some mishap. So we, we actually pre-drilled those holes in there rather than putting the bracket up there and, 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 uh, and drilling through it. Included with the lighting kit itself is a Y splitter and extender cables that, in, that can ensure that your wires will reach the intended brackets. You can see in our application, we've actually used wire ties to tie in uh, the excess wire to make it nice and neat down in our cabinet area. So your Luminati lighted bracket kit will come with the fasteners as well as the parts of the bracket themselves. When you get to the installation part of this application, you're going to have essentially a, a base or housing bracket that, is, that has your support flanges on it. You'll have a piece of artisan insert glass that goes between and you'll have a cover bracket that will pinch the glass between the two metal parts. You'll have fasteners that have acorn nuts on them that will allow you to tie the two metal, metal parts together with the glass in between them. And then you'll also have fasteners that will tie in to your wall or your studs and tie this, tie this housing onto your application. So on our brackets, we have pre-installed bumpers here, here, and here. They'll also, you'll also see that they are on, on, the, on the cover plate as well. I remove this. The bumpers are intended to protect your glass, basically allowing it to float between the two, between the two pieces of metal. 
they do not come pre-installed. You'll want to put your glass onto the metal parts themselves and then attach your bumpers in order to get them just the right placement that they need. As previously mentioned, we have pre-drilled our holes for fastening on our Luminati bracket. You'll also note our mounting holes. These are quarter inch mounting holes that are countersunk so that a flathead wood screw will be flush with the surface of the metal. We're gonna use a drill, Phillips head bit on it. And then we're gonna really jam it. At this stage of the installation, we have our, our bracket, our housing part of our bracket installed on and fixed onto our substructure. So now we're gonna install the light. You can see what we use is a strip of LED lights hooked up and soldered onto a, onto a connector uh, wire, which plugs in on an adapter into our, into our lighting setup. Our lighting source is off while we're while we're attaching it, but we're just gonna show you how bright the light is outside of the bracket. So you can see that there's a pretty good amount of light that's put off by that LED light, and all that will be shining on that beautiful glass in there. The strip itself is only eight inches long. Our flange at the top is approximately 10 inches long. So there's some room to play back and forth if it's required. When you're putting your cover plate on with your glass, remember that the glass is not adhered to this cover plate. So you want to take care that you don't drop the glass when you're installing it. Also remember that you want to make sure that those, that those bumpers are positioned to support your glass. So what you're going to do is you're going to pinch that glass into place on your cover and you're going to put your glass cover up. against your housing, matching up the holes in the housing with the holes in your cover plate. And you'll take the, the, uh, the provided fasteners, the acorn nuts, you'll run them through, and it's good to have four hands, but you can do it with two. And at the beginning, you'll just wanna start getting it fastened on nice and Nice and easy light. And consideration to make sure of, or to take into account when you're installing the glass, your wire that goes to your lighting, you need to make sure that it runs as it exits the bracket, it runs between the flanges on the housing and the cover plate. If it's on the exterior of the cover plate, it is going to impede fastening the cover plate to the housing. It's gonna set your holes off so that you won't be able to put them on. So I need to, I need to give a little bit of give, a little bit of space here so that I can adjust my my wire. When you're screwing the cover plate to the housing bracket, you want to make sure that you don't over tighten because you can actually crack the glass. You don't want too much play in these fasteners, but at the same time, if you try and screw them down too hard, you have the potential of breaking the glass itself or cracking it by pinching it between them. So, um, so don't, don't try and tighten them down too hard. So we have our three brackets installed now, and we're going to test the lights before we bring in the bring in the granite. And you can see, although our lighting is very good outside, you can see that we have lighting on all three of the brackets. So now I'm going to shut off the lights. We're going to bring in the granite. So you can see that you can provide nice lighting down here in an area that was previously dark uh, and not seen. Now you, now you can actually uh, use nice uh, fascia on your substructure 
and it will be well lit with the Illuminati supported brackets. So here at Federal Brace, we have three different styles of lighted brackets. We have the Illuminati, which is, which is what we just installed, and we have the Lumiere and the Lux. All of them provide a different type of lighting underneath your countertop or your shelves or even your cabinets. So you'll want to check them out. You can see them on our website at www.federalbrace.com. Uh, you can also give us a call. We'll be happy to help you out. So as we shut down and we uh, close out this, this installation video, we want to show you what it's like without the lights on.